Hey everybody, this is Technoli, and today we're going to show you an upgrade on this 2011 iMac. This is mid-2011. It has an i5 processor in it, and I want to upgrade it to the i7-2600. We're going to upgrade the RAM, and also it's got a bad power supply. It's starting to make noise, so we're going to change out that. So, there's a lot of videos online about these 27 inch 2011s but these are still really usable so a lot of the other videos that I've seen they don't show you every detail and I'm going to show you every detail so if you want to tackle one of these you won't get lost let's get started okay so the first thing we want to do is take off this beautiful glass and what I do is just kind of get my fingernails behind it right there, get it started, hope you can see that, and then run my other hand across the top. Try not to bend it too much. Once you get it away from those magnets, it'll pull off pretty easy, okay? Let me put this down. Okay, now we're gonna use, this is a uh, T10 screw driver that we need to take out all of these screws down in these little, crevices down here, across here, so we'll get these out. Okay, down this side. These up here, these ones that are down deep, you don't need to take those out. Okay, now, you don't want to get too excited about pulling this LCD out because you'll break some cables on the other side. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my screwdriver, get it behind it, and just gently pull back. Okay. Now, hopefully, you can see in here, we've got a wire that we need to break loose here. Okay, and then we got to really be careful with these ribbon cables down here. So this ribbon cable and this power connector have to come loose. Let me see if I can get you in there a little closer. All right, got that one. And then this one has a little little flap you just pull up and then take that cable out now we've got another power cable this is the LCD power cable over here so we need to pull it off the power supply so we had four cables total and just lift it out okay so as you can see on this one we've already had a hard drive out of it so, they were using an external hard drive with this on the Thunderbolt. And surprisingly, it was very fast. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to start with this power supply. Now, if you have had this computer on recently, you want to unplug it and let it sit for a couple of days just to be safe. Because you will get shocked if you touch some of the wrong uh, circuit board on the bottom there so they hold a little bit of charge so you want to be careful and then what I'm doing right now is I'm pushing in the power button to just try to drain any other current that might be stuck inside there okay so let's start here by taking let's see this is a yeah a t10 so we're going to take out this power supply cable right here that we're going to have to disconnect. You just pinch it in and pull it out. There we go. 
Okay, so got a little tape on it. All right, and we'll kind of pull back on this power supply so we can get our cells in here to this connector and just push. There's a little tab right there. You just push that tab down and just pull it off. All right, so that's it for the power supply. There it is. We're just going to order one of these off of eBay. Now, to pull out this motherboard is a big, big, big job. What you want to do is go ahead and take a picture of all of the cable hookups here with your phone or who, whatever, because you're going to have to remember to put all these cables back on. And it'll just be easier if you have a picture so you won't get lost. So what I always do with these. First thing I'm going to do is go to a T6 tip and take out this Wi-Fi card, just get it off the motherboard. Okay. I'll just leave it connected and set it over there, put this screw back in so I don't lose it. Now I'm going to put a little flat tip on here that'll help me get these little cables off, okay? So we're gonna take all of our cables off. And they can be a real pain sometimes. There we go. I'm trying to leave them where I know where they go. But like I said, I hope you took your picture. I took mine. Okay, we'll take off this speaker cable down here. We got another cable down here. They're pretty much all, you know, sized. You can't really mess up. Okay, there's another one down here that has to come off. And another one right here. Okay, we got these two guys. Okay. And we got a little sensor cable here, fan, another one, and we got this ribbon cable down here. We just kind of push down on, there's some black tabs right there. Just kind of push down, it slides out. And then we've got this cable. All right, perfect. Now let's put our... T10 back in, and we're going to start taking out screws to get the motherboard out. All right, let's see here. Okay, got one here, the motherboard, got one here. We're gonna have to take this heat sink screw out. Take that one out. Okay. Now let's see here. We've got a screw here in the center. We got one down here. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. One here. Okay, now what else do we have? Let's see here. Definitely got one right here. This, the culprit. Okay, there we go. All right, so. Got everything disconnected. You gotta be kind of gentle with this. You don't want to break it. I think I can leave that thing in there. I don't think I have to take that out. Ah, you know what it is? This is a mistake you never want to make. We gotta take the RAM out. Down here. So, what size is this? 
That's too big for sure. It's not a T10. Let's see if it's a T6. Actually, it's a Phillips. Oh, my T6 is working. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we just pull these little straps out and tug on them a little bit. All right. Now we can get our ram out. I had a lot of ram in this one. One, two, three, and four. Four sticks of something, I don't know what yet. Okay, now let's set it back up and see if we can get the board out. thing always gets stuck on these this little sensor switch or whatever it is probably yeah I don't like to take them out if I don't have to okay now back here we've got some power cables we have to take off so we'll just pull that one up pull it out there's a little cable right here a little sensor cable of some sort pull that one off we got another cable here, which goes, I think, up here for power. We've got power there and a SATA. Let's get these cables out of the way. And there it is. Like I say, folks, it's not simple, but it's not impossible. Okay, I'm going to get this out of the way so we can get started. Okay, I got it all set up here, the motherboard. So this is the CPU cooler, and this is a GPU, your graphics card. So let's go ahead and take this off, because we're going to change out the processor. Four big screws. There's a little cable here, a sensor cable that we need to take off the heat sink we can get it off. Okay. And we're going to avoid our warranty. We're going to hit this screw. Oh. Don't think it's under warranty anymore. Anyway. Okay, we've got an i5 in here now. We're going to upgrade it to the highest that was available on this unit was an i7-2600. You see how these screws right back here? These screws are turning. So we're going to have to get another screwdriver and hold that one. Hold on. Alright. And you know what? It's not a T6, it's a little bigger. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's a T7. Yeah, T7 is better. And there it is. 3.1 i5-2400. Okay. Let's get the new one put in. Okay, let's go ahead and get this processor changed out. I got the new one. Got this on eBay. This is a i7-2600. 3.4 gigahertz. So, we just pull that arm over out of the way. Lift it up, take out the old processor, i5, and just line up these little notches on the side here, and that arrow, 
Just line it up like that. Gently put it in. You don't want to bend those pins underneath. Put her down. Make sure that goes underneath that screw. The little, little uh, tongue right there. And put it, that bar under it. Okay, now we're going to use some Noctua thermal paste. And a lot of guys have different ways of putting thermal paste on. I like to put a dab just a little bit on each side, each corner. That's going to be plenty. And then notice we have old compound on here, so I'm going to wipe that off. Make sure all we're using is the new stuff. There we go. Just a paper towel. All right, we got it clean. Now, let's see. How did this go? Now, this is a horrible setup. And we have to put those screws back in back here. Get them started. The T7. Okay, now I'll just make sure they're kind of snug with this bigger screwdriver. We don't have to overkill it here, but I just want to make sure that they're all down. We always do a cross tightening. There we go. And then don't forget our jumper for the uh, heat sensor. All right. That'll tell us if we're overheating. Okay, so we're all done. We upgraded the processor. So uh, everything looks good on the GPU right here. Everything looks fine. So I'm not going to mess with that. Okay, let's get it back in the case. Okay, guys, now I'm not going to tell you this is easy because it's not. It can be a struggle. So you want to make sure your wires are pulled out out of the way because we're going to need to be putting those back in okay just make sure they're up out of the way and kind of put the board in there's no real rhyme or reason to this just got to make sure I've got all my cables on this side of the board okay now don't forget the first thing we got to do is plug in this power cable Hope you can see that. Okay, then we got these SATA cables. The SATA cable we got to plug in, and that will go right here. Got a power cable that goes in this little one, and then this SATA cable for the CD ROM goes right here. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, this goes up on top. This is on the outside. You're just looking down in there to make sure we didn't forget anything. Okay, and then we slowly but gently put this board in, pulling out those cables. Okay, I think I got all my cables. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let me make sure we got all these cables up here. Yes, and over here. Got one cable that's trying to hide from me. There she is. All right. Okay, now we just need to line everything up. Cool. those cables back up on this side now what's cool about this you're gonna notice if you forgot something because you're gonna see a bunch of holes up here if you don't have everything filled in yep I think I got it all all right so let's go ahead and start putting in our cables so we got this little guy right here we got to slide back up in here I 
I go ahead and attach all my cables before I even think about tying down the motherboard with its screws because if I forget something, then I don't want to have to take all the cables off again. There's our microphone. Okay, that goes in there. And fortunately, all of these are sized, so you know which one is which. And I just start working my way around, making sure I get them all in. Looks like it goes up here. There we go, there's where it goes. Here's a little guy. I think he goes here. Nope. See, if it doesn't fit, you just keep trying until you find the right hole. Okay, then these guys reach over to here. Okay, make sure they're not pinched or anything. All right, so we got all of those on. Now let's go over here. We've got a little CPU fan down here. It says CPU fan. There we go. Then this little guy, this one goes here. And we got one more, one more. And when you can't find it, you just keep looking. Oh, that's the power button. That's cool. All right, so looks like it goes up this way. Power button. There we go. All right, now let's get all these put in. And luckily they're all different sizes it makes it much easier if they were all the same size we'd be in trouble we'd have to label everything this one right here little one goes right here okay we'll tuck it back in there a little bit all right now we just want to make sure that we've got everything ah here's an extra one that's the CD-ROM tray. Now, am I going to take this out? What do you think? Should I leave it in or take it out? I think it does work. So, I guess I'll leave it in. All right, and it goes down here. Just when you think you're done. Now, we'll go ahead and tuck it back in. All right, now we can safely say it's time to put back in our big screws, our motherboard screws. So I like to start with the long ones. Get those out of the way first. Okay, now we'll get this one put in right here. That should be just a short one. Maybe it's a super short one. Let's check. Okay. Now, we did get a new power supply. If you remember, I told you I was going to put a new power supply in this because the old one started buzzing. So let's get that out. Okay, I got this off eBay. Um, $25, including shipping. With a warranty. So, let's see if it works. So we'll go ahead and back it in, put our power cable on. All right. That cable goes down in there. Okay, and then this, if you remember, this little cable locks onto here. Let's see if you can see that. Just one of those little pinch cables. There we go. Tuck it in there. Now, put some screws in this to hold it. Okay. All right. Okay, power supply's in. Now, we need to put a hard drive in here, but let's not forget to put this back on. This is our Wi-Fi card, and I put the screw right there, so let me get the right 
tip out to get that out. So I wouldn't lose that because I know I would lose that screw if I didn't save it right there. All right, put that back in. Bingo, there we go. Okay, let me get that hard drive. Got a little WD, 500 gigabyte. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in. Now, unfortunately, this computer didn't come with a hard drive, so the brackets that go right here are missing. So I can't put like a adapter in there to mount it. But it weighs nothing, right? So we're just gonna lay it in here. Could put a piece of tape on it, I guess, but you know what? Letting air flow through it won't hurt a thing. Okay. So, there we go. Now, before I get too excited, I wanna test this thing. Let's put the screen on. Because I want you guys to see that this can be a little bit of a challenge. So we just hang it in there. See on the front there, just hang it in there. And then you've gotta put all your cables back on. I start with the lower ones first, so I'm gonna put on this power cable. Okay. All right, and okay, we got that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this beauty on. This is the most difficult. And you do not want to pull back on this motherboard connector or you will snap it right off and you'll have to send out the board to get it soldered back on. So keep that screen up against, kind of, you know, <laughs> don't pull back on the screen. And then put that little cable on. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just a little sensor cable. And then we got one more up here. Okay, all right. Now, like I said, I already installed OS on this drive. Now with these uh, old 2011s, you have to install Lion first, then you can install El Capitan, and then you can put High Sierra on it. So that's how we got to here. All right, now let's go check everything out. Looks good. And there it is, our i7 3.4. So, hope this was fun for you guys. It wasn't uh, too horrible to do, right? If you have any questions or you have any uh, problems with yours, just let me know in the comments below. We'll see you on the next video.